What's up everyone, this is WFX and this is my US 30, 30 trade recap of a $30,000 trade. So as everyone has been looking at US 30 charts, indices charts, crypto charts, you probably have noticed that for some period of time, as you can see, we're looking at the daily time frame, we see that the price is really moving to the downside, right? But this is not yet enough for me to, to prove me, to tell me that the market is crashing. As right now, if I so zoom out, we had some drops here and there, you know, Corona drop, this was the crash. This is not the crash. This is a normal correction. This is a normal uh, phase of the markets when there are fears of inflation, of other coronavirus, uh, uh, you know, mutations and stuff like that. So all of this is normal and I don't really think uh, the market is crashing and I'm going to tell you why. And also I'm going to share my analysis on how I caught a beautiful trade to the upside on US 30. So basically, if we're looking right now at the daily chart, um, there are two major support or demand zones that is catching my eye. So one of them is going to be this, uh, this zone right here. And the other one is this right here. So as you can see, you can probably notice why I chose these two zones. It's because we have data in that happened in the past that is telling us that this market structure, the, these zones are being respected. So we have distribution here, we have respect here, we have respect here, here and here. And as you can see, the market is currently respecting uh, the zone again. But what happened was we had a deep liquidity, deep liquidity grab right to the zone right here. So that's why I chose to use this zone, the lower zone rather than the higher zone. So after this happened, what I did was I scaled down to a lower time frame uh, because I was expecting this push to the upside after we saw this rejection of this major daily zone, uh, probably even the weekly zone. So what I did was very, very simple. I scaled down to a lower time frame, uh, which was one hour, 30 minutes. And I looked for more zones where I could find my entry. So one of my entries I have found uh, was on the 15 minute time frame. So this was my zone. Let me mark this up as a one hour or lower zone. And as you can see, not on the uh, not just that we had a lower uh, a rejection on the daily time frame zone, we also had an inverse head and shoulders formation. And what does that mean? That means that the market there's a big chance that the market is going to be reversing for at least a lower period of time. But since after we scaled out, we see, we have seen that the market is moving to the upside a lot. So we can expect that this can be the bottom of the retracement before for their continuation to the upside. Right? So having all these confirmations, uh, having some nice, very, very strong zones, uh, seeing that they're being respected what i did was like i said i scaled down to a lower time frame and i found another zone uh, once again i teach all these zones and these market uh, this trading system supply and demand and market uh, continuation in my course you can check the link in the description i'll leave the link and you can check check it out on my website um, so basically after i saw this rejection uh, and this bullish candle, I took this trade and I really, really loaded up on this one. I have my targets higher. My targets would be this right here. Nice one to three, uh, one to three point six risk to reward. But I will definitely be leaving some runners, probably 20, 15 percent of my position is going to be left running because as like I said, on the daily, we're really bullish. So if you are able to catch the bottom on the bigger time frame, you can really manage to uh, get some profits out of it in the long term. So it's it would be really smart to uh, take some positions, uh, leave some positions running. 
So what I did also, I saw another beautiful supply zone in the lower time frame, and I called this trade out right here. I'm gonna send you, I'm gonna put the picture on the charts and it looks like we're running in profit really well right now. Let me see what's going on. Yeah, that's, that's some beautiful numbers right there, as you can see. So this trade is running in profit. Very beautiful, very beautiful trade. Stacking on, like I said, I really loaded it up on this one. Uh, let me see if I can show you. Um, I don't know if the camera is good enough to, for you to see uh, how kind of I managed to scale up on this. As you can see, I have one buy position here, a couple buy positions and a couple buy positions a little bit higher. Uh, so beautiful trade. And once again, everything that I teach, I teach simplicity and I, you, I teach uh, students to trade with the trend all the time because trend is always going to be your friend. Just simple as that daily zone being respected. I did not take this trade off the daily zone because of the very strong bearish momentum to the downside. So as the previous daily zone that we had here that was broken, this zone could have easily been broken as well. So what I did, I waited for some bullish momentum, bullish indication. We got this here. We got this nice little retracement. And every time you look at the charts, you have to read the price action, read the candles like it's trying to tell you a story. And what's, what's, what was the story behind it is basically we have a respect of the daily zone. A lot of bullish momentum stepping in the game and we have the bears really trying to take over, right? But bulls take over and invalidate this bearish push, making this a retracement rather than invalidation. So after the retracement, after the invalidation, we have a further bullish momentum to the upside. So that's all you need. Uh, candles, price action tells you a story that you need to read and make it simple as that. So that's all I got here. Once again, thanks for watching. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. And I'll see you soon. Peace.